and good morning. Welcome to our new home. It's our first morning that Corinne got coffee in bed. One big advantage of our new home on wheels is that we can make coffee while still inside because it's getting chilly in chilly. Yeah. What do you think of our new um, coffee arrangement, sweetie? I love it. And so starts another episode of our South American adventure. Thank you very much for our Patreons for making these videos possible. It's your support that assists us in making better videos. If you would like to support us, please go to patreon.com forward slash feelers on four wheels and subscribe today. Slowly everything is coming together. Um, everything's working in the car on the inside. We've got the new tackies on, uh, new shocks in the front. Uh, the branding is on. I'll show you that in a few seconds. Um, and we're slowly settling in. Things happen, happen, is, things are happening a bit slower here in Chile than we That's thought. Um, it's African time is faster than Chilean time. Uh, but yeah, things are coming together. We, we, we've been here about three weeks. We're putting our break in behind us and moving on, adapting fast to having less stuff, which could be an advantage. We'll see as time goes on. Unfortunately, my my branded T-shirts, um, most of my branded T-shirts are gone, so I'll have to buy other boring clothes. We are gonna head out of town hopefully this weekend for a little bit, and then come back to the big city of Santiago, and then we will probably start our adventure in seriousness and heading into northern. South America, the weather is turning cold in the south, so Patagonia and the southern part of South America I think we'll have to wait a bit um, and we will come back to uh, southern South America later in the year. So I was looking up after a bit of a, a dive and we are going to start hitting the road and getting to know South America properly. So our Spanish is still <laughs> not good enough. Uh, we've been studying hard, but studying is different from talking. So yeah, hola South America. <coughs> and here's a look at our new branding. Bernie's starting to look up. Support us on Patreon. If you know if you've forgotten or if you have isn't a Patreon yet. She's full of bumps and scratches, but she's looking better and better as time goes on. And we're getting our first taste of the Andes Mountains, or the moon, with water. Very stark, beautiful landscape, very harsh, quite dusty. But if you look carefully, you see multiple colors all over the rocks. A lot, lots of mining activity as well, um, on the road up. Um, testing the new van, it's been doing very well on the gravel roads. Uh, slow going, especially uphill, the 2.4 litre petrol is not a powerhouse. But yeah, beautiful. We um, stopped next to the road uh, at a little um, just pull off place. Karin uh, is hunkering down in the car because it's a little bit, the wind chill factor is, is quite cold. Uh, I won't last a lot longer outside. We then spent the next day at Val de Colina, natural hot springs high on the Andes Mountains at 2,500 meters. Great hot springs from 70 degrees down. We soaked up the day while looking at the great views of the Andes Mountains and the valleys with the snow-capped mountain tops high above us. And while we're making coffee, welcome to our studio and home on wheels. As always, at the beginning of a trip, and we've just arrived in the country, we're going to do an impressions of chili. So, what was my first impressions of chili? <laughs> chili. Yeah, it was very different. Very different from our African trip. Uh, for some reason, maybe it's because I'm African. I felt much more at home in Africa. Then in Chile, it's for me a much, more, much foreign, much more foreign country. Um, camping sites it doesn't look like it's really good for for campus. Campus, it's more like for day visitors, and um, camping is sort of an extra. 
campsites are not as clean as in Africa, not as sorted, and braai, barbecue. I really miss my barbecue. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about how expensive it is, because it's fucking expensive. But yeah, we've only had one proper braai in like more than a month in Chile. Um, yeah, and um, things happen a bit slower here, even slower than African time. So that's been something that I needed to get used to. Uh, if people I love, energetic, um, full, full of fun, very helpful. And what do you think, Sweetie Pie? What's your impressions of Chile? And so my first impression was um, the climate in this area is a lot more harsher than what we are used to. It's colder, it's warmer, it's dustier. I get burnt a lot, so you must be a bit more careful. Um, and then, obviously, a lot of things take a lot, a lot longer than we thought. Um, we've been here for a month now, and we're kind of finalizing the stuff on the car. Um, language barrier isn't that bad. Um, with the technology we have in this day and age, I mean, we've got Google Translate, we're very active on Duolingo. Uh, we were a lot more active, but we're still doing the classes. But yeah, we, we understand people and they are really helpful. So yeah, things are taking a bit longer than what I thought. Um, but we will just adjust. Well, we have to. Yeah, um, let me just think of something else. It doesn't feel so far away for me. Um, yeah, and that's it. So it's just now route planning time. That's it. Oh, I, I want to say something else. The wine is great. <laughs> yeah, so next up, we're not really sure where we were going to go to. Um, we were going to head to northern Chile, but we might change our minds and head to Argentina. So we can braai and uh, do some barbecue um, and give our budget a break. So we'll keep you posted of what comes next. But that's a story for another time. So please remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on future adventures. Thank you for our Patreons for making these videos possible.